Cheesy B, man. Tell them we in this house, man. Oh, really? <laughs> Bam, we back. Young Z TV. Got a familiar face in the building. My boy, Kimbo Greedy. What yeah, it do, man. fam? Yes, you got Kimbo Greedy. I always grinding, so I'm never, ever motherfucking needed, man. For real. That's what's up. Yeah, I was eating before YouTube. You did? <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all, keep in mind. Remember, I told y'all this. Man, YouTube saved a lot of these niggas. A lot of these niggas were starving. Before they start eating out for here. So let's shoot you salute YouTube one time. Shout man. out to YouTube. Shout yeah. out to YouTube. Say, man, we're going to start it off, man. You watch some BET Awards? Yeah, I checked out a little bit of it, man. As <laughs> uh, much as I could. It was, I'm going to say this. They should have called that motherfucker the EBT Awards. <laughs> it was ghetto. Yeah, right? it was ghetto. Which, ghetto which it was fine family. with it, but it, maybe it was the camera. Maybe. I, I'm, I'm going to say this. I ain't gonna put it all on the BET Awards. Maybe it was the camera, man. Maybe they just had some some niggas like us on the camera, yeah. and they just kept on kept putting the camera on the shit they caught they eye or something. Cause I seen some shit. I was like, man, from this uh, Boosie say uh, wrap him out the plastic because he been like, <laughs> right now. <laughs> Is this the first uh, award show that uh that they had since Tyler Perry been? Yeah, y'all think the first one since Tyler oh, yeah. Perry. What I was hearing about it, the difference from this one and the other ones, bro. Like the other ones, it was more like a celebration of the culture, celebration of the artists and all that kind of shit. So it was a lot of stuff set up to uh, facilitate everybody. But this time, shit, I was hearing people saying, man, they was like selling booths and shit like a regular little uh, event. Like yeah. they was trying to make money yeah. versus yeah. Uh, giving. Pop-up shop. Up yeah, pop-up shop, BT Award. <laughs> man, they had a pop-up shop, BT Award. <laughs> on, the red, <laughs> on the red carpet. Yeah, on the red carpet, yeah. Well, man, everybody, but our people, man, my people, they were still looking beautiful, man. I'm glad it wasn't no, even that it was ghetto, it wasn't no shit other than fun, man. That's mm -hmm. what I loved about it, man. Oh yeah, but I, I seen um Boosie and uh, I mean yeah Boosie was Boosie there. he fell out on the Boosie drunk all out on the ground. T T hey, <laughs> Ti and Master P perform. I ain't see it. I ain't see yeah. it, man. It's some no disrespect, you know. I like them guys, but shit, I ain't really man. I, I ain't gonna, uh, some of that shit is cool to hear, you know. But man, we need to hear some shit, some happy shit. Sometimes some of them nigga Ti. You ain't even happy no motherfucking mo, nigga. We can feel it, nigga. <laughs> Get up there and pee. <laughs> hey, I love the fact that P still performing like Snoop Dogg them or whatever, but Master P, take it from your little homie. You are not a timeless artist, bro. Sit down some motherfucking world. <laughs> I'm starting to think you doing these shows because you need the money, man. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, Master P recently sold, sold his masters, man. It's good. Perfect timing, Master P, because... And by five, six years, that shit wasn't going to be worth <laughs> nothing but $150, man. Watch this. Niggas, niggas be talking about niggas who sell their masters. That's niggas who don't understand the music game. Don't even understand how the master game work. If you not know hell of an artist with timeless music, like some Beatles them or somebody where everybody going to be sampling your shit and using your shit and pituitary to the universe, how them contracts be saying. Mm -hmm. Bro, a lot of people... Got a catalog that ain't worth shit. So oh, yeah. while your catalog still worth something, sometimes some other niggas might be saying, "This ain't my end of the road. I got some other ventures. I got some other shit I want to do. I might need to go get this money so I can invest in." He might want to go invest right. in the New Orleans Saints or some shit. Ain't no telling. Do you know how much they gave him? Uh, -uh no, I didn't even look no, it up. I, don't I ain't looking up yet. Yeah. But whatever it is, shit. If you having tax problems, IRS problems, or whatever, shit. Sell it. Sometimes niggas selling it before the people take it from them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's up with Master P, but I know this. Man, the nigga ain't took no motherfucking breaks, man. Master P be working hard on the motherfucker. So yeah. either he just love what he do or... I'm pretty that sure nigga, that uh, rap snacks and his food. All that shit making all money, but yeah, yeah. I think P, he one of the motherfuckers. He like to stay relevant and he like to like make his own money shit. Mm -hmm. I don't... I got a question though, Pete. All these motherfucking rappers out here, that last little new No Limit he tried to do, trash. Why? What is it about these guys, bro, when they've been in the game so long? Is They just say, fuck it, I don't want to do it no more. They don't want to deal with artists no more. 
I heard somebody say uh, the chips don't talk back like a rapper might do. So they, uh, because Pete could have oh. easily been and got his hand on a, yeah, some good Pete. artists by now. I heard okay. Pete say that. Okay. He say he he, he don't want to deal with artists no more because he say the chips can't call you at three in the morning. Tripping and shit. The chips ain't gonna call you tripping about no chick. No and it's money. fucked up because a lot of, I think, it, it, I'm gonna say this, a lot of times it's on the labels and all them. Y'all the ones like to go sign the dumb nigga from the hood that don't know nothing about the business, don't understand shit. But when you got a nigga that can rap, but he a uh, 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 game savvy on how everything work, he understand contracts and shows and his uh, uh, royalties, all that. See, they don't want to deal with no nigga like that. They like to deal with Sammy Sausage Head, like all these uh, YNW, Melis, all these niggas they signing now. Mm -hmm. Them old put together ass, uh, half man, half girl ass <laughs> nigga. They like that. They like to put guys together like that, bro, who are not smart. You know what I'm not saying? They dumb, but they don't understand the game. You and they like, they, and that's what you get when you do that. You think they do that? Uh in an in intent to take advantage of yes, them? Or? Yes, yes, take advantage of them. Because why would you sign a nigga who, who could sell, let's say he got projected to sell a million albums, but this nigga know how to collect all his money from you. You can't fuck him out of nothing. You can't play him out of nothing. He know how to count for every dollar. But you got another nigga over here could sell a million. He don't know nothing. You can, you right. can, you can get, you can pay him his money 10 years from now. You can do like how... Baby did Wayne them, not on purpose, because mm -hmm. Baby say he didn't know a lot of shit, but... Mo most time, all uh, the smart ones, you know, they already do their own thing. Yeah, you got to do like, your like, own like thing, because... Yeah, you, you know? got to you gotta do your own thing, because a lot of niggas going to feel like you know too much, or, or, or why you got us around. And to me, that down, down south, that's really our thing. You got so many independent... People around this mm -hmm. bitch to let you know we got that kind of mindset. Yeah. Shout out to Jay Prince. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Suave House. Uh, Draper, Tony, Tony Draper, Draper, Draper uh, Master P. Yes, baby, yeah, yeah, all them boys, yeah, man, yeah, Slim. Yeah, Brian Williams. Slim. And even man, yeah. that, bro, it was a lot of cats from Dallas, bro. It's a lot of like these niggas, like a lot of places, Houston, all of them, they own, and they got so far to where they got humble enough to look back at the foundation that came before them. When Dallas do it, it'd be funny to me because they still pick and choose. Mm -hmm. They don't get the whole foundation because it's a lot of cats, bro. Before I even came along, was trying to play with the rap shit or whatever. It was a lot of cats from Dallas. I sat back and watched that was doing shit. But a lot of them, bro, when they got so far, they ended up like uh, Snake. I think Snake was at, uh, was it? it wasn't MCA. Damn, I forgot what. But a DJ Snake man, to be with Nemesis, man. Shout out to Snake, man. Matter of fact, I, uh, him and Bobo call themselves brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a lot of it's a lot of cats that I seen around who was doing things. They ended up on labels and shit. And I remember them trying to reach back and and trying to help people and shit. But a lot of times, Dallas, I'm say Dallas. I'm just gonna put it like this: Dallas wasn't ready for a lot of the responsibilities that come along with the shit, bro. And we still getting ready. We still learning. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, man. I think I think man we 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 far back away than a lot of other bigger cities you know like yeah. Chicago's LA's that's because we got that, you know that, that's because we got more artists we got more talent than we do niggas who want to be on the other side of the coin for us A and R's or, or managers or, or you know like. Really getting in touch with real people and and building a relationship. Right. We do got some people doing shit like that. Uh, what's the guy they call? I ain't gonna say no nigga name. I'm just gonna put it like this: all the niggas who call themselves being like that bridge to so-called labels and shit. We see all the drama that's around these niggas. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you're in that kind of position, you got you're supposed to be one of the smoothest nigga around. Me gonna be smooth as silk, man, for real. When you're in that type of position, but I think that's what hurt us. So most artists. Man, you need to worry about trying to build your own relationship, letting these niggas play managers for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Man, speaking of that, man, um, we got a major artist. We brought him up earlier, uh, yeah. Boosie Badass. Well, he, Boosie just, he just uh, released a, a album, man, and it sold 500 copies in the first week, man. Well, you got anything? What? Why? Why you think? Like, you like, know, like, 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 like. 495, 496, 497, 498, like that kind of 500 copies. That's, a, that, that's how many. 
Damn, boo. Man, I, I, I'm going to put it like this. You think Why is he surprised? His last project, remember, he was telling people to go die. He wasn't doing too much. I think a lot of these niggas don't realize, hey, man, the audience is in love with you and your personality more than they are your music a lot of times. Right. And I think that's what happened with Boo, man. Musically, shit. It, it, or it might be some people that push the button saying, man, he might have pissed the wrong people off or something. I don't know, man. But 500 he could have bought them himself. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Boosie. See, I told you not to. Remember, I told you before. Boosie and T.I., before y'all go fucking with Charleston White, remember I say, call me? <laughs> y'all didn't call me. Now look at the type of shit happened. Man, I think Charleston put going, the voodoo on your record sale. Some, he been going through hell, though. Wait, though. Think about this, bro. This is fucked up. They say all, uh, what is it? Publicity. is good publicity or something. All, whatever. Yeah. That's what Jerry nigga, Jones say. Hold on, though. Nigga, you done went to jail. You done... Man, you know Boosie went into diabetic shock when the people pulled him over, right? Nah, I didn't you know, know that. You know about that? Okay, when he had that gun in San Diego mm. uh, with his manager, it's from that hood. He was in his manager neighborhood, right? Mm. So if my manager, I'm in your neighborhood, I shouldn't need no motherfucking gun. So Boosie, you got the gun in your back. These people, I forgot the cat name, one of the cats from the hood that Sure, the shit that got Boosie in trouble, but when the laws put Boosie over, I don't know if it scared him so much he went in a shock or what, man. Boosie, I ain't talking shit about you because I ain't got diabetes. I don't know how this shit work. But, nigga, the law say he had to, uh, Boosie told this story. He said he went in a diabetic shock. I don't know if he was out or what. <laughs> he said the law had to squirt the shit in his mouth two times. What? The get his bag, he had to go get his bag and squirt the, uh, this diabetic medicine in his mouth too uh, tired to bring it back. So they done saved your life, Boosie. Damn. So you had, but this is funny because he was on Matt Hoffa talking about when he get pulled over with a gun, anything happened, his partner gonna take it all this. Not if you in a coma. Yeah. And like, that's how the game works, bro. When the universe is tired of your capping and your bullshit, man. The universe will sit you down, man. I'm sorry. I don't know what no niggas believe in, so I'm just going to say the universe. I feel like Boosie them be doing too much. Them niggas should have learned from Rollo and them with all that old extra capping, playing with the police, turning the police and all that. Nigga, niggas didn't get in the rap game to be them against the police. Street niggas didn't ask y'all to go and do all this and fuck with the police because the police going to be fucking with us. You niggas in mansions and somewhere living good. Y'all yeah. see the police every now and then. Y'all got the police feeling like it's niggas look like us that fear how y'all feel. Nigga, I just left from downtown in Deep Elm going to this 7-Eleven on my way up here, bro. Mm. Nigga, two police white boys stopped and was holding the door before, for me to go in. But I know that's how they do because they don't want no nigga to walk behind them, right? Right. Nigga, I get up to the door, I tell them, Oh, man, I want to hold the door for y'all for a change. They just bust out laughing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, but, 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 but it's like, bro, I don't need these rap niggas. Just like Lil Wayne fucked up the drink for everybody the real perp. These rap niggas need to understand you are an entertainer, sir. Entertain. Quit doing shit that's going to affect your community, man. Because they look at y'all like, for some reason, you lame-ass niggas is the head of the black community. What rappers do. That shit affect all of us, so you niggas need to start being more responsible about the shit y'all do, man. For real. That's real. Hey, man, um, Boosie claimed his uh his brother forged his signature. I remember that shit. Boosie mad at his brother. Boosie mad at Gazi. Boosie mad at Boosie say everybody fucked him. But you know when you feel like you're on your way to jail, you try to get the money from every person. <laughs> you think, oh, you, when you're on your way to say, jail. That motherfucker owed me $50 too. He want to talk about everything. It's like, <laughs> I mean, he said, guys in them for his signature. So, Boosie, why is everybody fucking just, everybody know you you don't, you slow or something? Why everybody like, feel like that's how we beat Boosie? I mean, for his signature. Did this shit just happen or is he if just it's, now? Oh, he just I not worrying about it. They just not worried about it. <laughs> He trying, Already. To, he trying to take all the attention off of him and get it on somebody else. He don't want nobody just looking at Boosie. You know you've been fucking up, right? So he want right. to put it on somebody else. I, I keep it going. Wow.